So we are fast approaching winter. Now, everybody's worry, is my heating gonna work? People are usually turning their heating on um, literally a day before it snows and then realizing nothing works. However, on the Mitsubishi Ecodan unit, um, I'm gonna discuss with you how to get emergency hot water. Because there's nothing worse than being without heating and hot water. Um, now there is a way of doing it, providing that the immersion heater on the tank, which is inside of there, is working. Um, and there's also a relay on here, contactor for the immersion here itself as well. Um, so it can vary, but majority of the time you can get emergency hot water directly from this controller. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So for example, if your heating and hot water is not working, um, something's wrong with the 3 valve or the pumps aren't working, something's not right, then we can go into the setting button there. We can go across to the service menu. Uh, usually your code is for zeros. Sometimes someone will change that to a one so that you can't get in, um, but majority of the time it's four zeros. Straight in there. If we wait for that to load. Now, if we scroll down to heat source setting and tick there, it will say system shutdown. Say yes, and you'll hear everything shut off within the within sort of like the cylinder room, wherever you may be. Okay, go back into heat source setting. And you've got an option here from standard to heater. Okay, so standard is where it's looking for the heat pump to run um, your heating and hot water. But if there's a problem with the heat pump or it's not working, what we can do is we can change that from standard to heater which is now going to give you emergency hot water. So if we press tick and confirm that, when we come back out of the main menu, all the way to the main screen, it's no longer looking for your air source heat pump outside. It is solely going to be relying on the immersion heater. Now you're gonna have a blank screen here. Sometimes when you press this power button here to bring it on, you'll hear the contact click in for hot water. Don't be alarmed, that's normal. We'll see if we can pick that up here. Not sure if you heard it, but at the top of the screen here, you've got a lightning bolt symbol now. This now means that it's running on the emergency immersion heater, okay? This symbol will also come up on the newer versions when it's in Legionella's mode. So sometimes if you do see that, don't be alarmed. It just means that it's asking for the immersion to help it complete the Legionella cycle, which I've covered in my previous video. Probably by the time this goes out, it was probably around about six months ago. But that's how you get emergency hot water when you are in desperate needs. Hope that helps.